Is it safe to come out yet? Computer graphics. You gotta love them. I could spend the entire day playing with this stuff, which would be more efficient than the 42 takes that we've done on this program already. All right, let's be serious here. Hey, it's Tim Newman with Softlight Studios, and it's... I don't even know what day it is, but I do know that today is the day that we kick off our new PhotoPills software series. If you're not familiar with the PhotoPills software, then a little introduction is in order. PhotoPills is an application that's been designed to run on smartphones and smart devices, and it contains a whole host of tools that are all targeted at making photography easier and making you a better photographer. It contains the normal tools that one would expect, depth of field calculator, exposure calculator, field of view for lenses, the kind of normal tools that you want to have in your in-field toolbox. But it also contains a number of planning tools that help you to make sure that you get to the right place at the right time when you're shooting out in the field. It has tools like a sunset calculator that tells you the sun will be setting at this specific time, at this specific degrees on the compass, and at this specific azimuth in the sky. This is powerful stuff that helps you to get the right shot at the right time. Imagine that you wanna know, hey, next month, when is going to be the best day to see the galactic center of the Milky Way on the southern horizon? PhotoPills can tell you that, and in a really great, quick, easy way. As a photographer that teaches a lot of photography workshops, that does a tremendous amount of landscape photography, the notion of being able to walk out the door in the morning and look at three or four different locations and say, hey, spot number two is gonna be where I get the best chance of getting a picture today, that's powerful to me. And at only $9.99, I feel like a used car salesman when I say that, only $9.99, no, seriously, at only $9.99, it's probably one of the best photography investments that you will make. Throughout the series, we are going to go through the application from beginning to end. And of course, in order to do that, the first thing we want you to do is download the app. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, we recommend that you go to the Apple Store and download the iOS version of the app. If you're one of those Android users, then go to Google's Play Store and download the Android version of the app there. Very simple and easy to install on your device. No problem with that. And our next video will take you through that. The next thing that we want to do is make sure that you understand what widgets are and make sure that they are enabled on your device. Widgets are little application code snippets that allow you to have some functionality of the app running at all times, even if you're not in the app. And they have specific versions of the widgets for both iOS devices and Android devices. Videos two and three are specifically dedicated to getting your widgets activated on your iOS or Android device. The last thing that we'd like to recommend before we really jump into the application is that you set a goal in PhotoPills. And it's not that you need to have a learning path set out for you, but the application does a tremendous amount of stuff and we think the ideal thing to do is pick one or two things that you can use PhotoPills for and get good at that so you get used to the interface and get comfortable with it and then grow from there. Okay, real quickly, let's take a look at the three menus that exist in the PhotoPills application and just give you a quick overview of what you can expect to find there. We start off with the My Stuff panel, and this is where you can store things that are specific to you. Plans for shoots that have you, that plans for shoots that you have made points of interest that you want to make sure that you get back to, things that you've discovered on the map that you really want to go back and shoot again. Once you have those points of interest, you can say when would be the best time to be there. Super cool stuff. The next panel in the app is the pills panel. Um, we refer to this also as the planner panel. And this is where 
you plan your shoots. This is where you figure out where do I want to be at what time of the day and in what location and what direction do I want to be looking? When's the best time to get that sun shot, that moon shot, things like that. Last but not least, there's the academy panel. And in the academy panel, you have the typical user guide that you would expect, but you also have access to video tutorials online, how-to articles. You can meet the team that wrote Photoshop, even rate the app. But last but not least, this is the place where you get your Photo Pills t-shirt. Okay, folks, that's it. That's our introduction to photo pills. Don't forget to look down in the description below this video for links to both setting up iOS widgets and Android widgets. We think you're going to love this app. We hope you're going to love this series. If you do a tremendous amount of landscape photography or photography out in the field, this photo pills app is something you really want to have at your disposal. We thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the future videos as they come out moving forward. And remember, as we always say, learning equals skills, practice equals mastery. We'll see you out there.